at this uh, ASH meeting, uh, we're presenting an international collaboration uh, that developed uh, the Burkitt Lymphoma International Prognostic Index, um, abbreviated to BLIPI um, by um, um, common decision. Um, the, this, the motivation for this study uh, was that uh, Burkitt lymphoma uh, is clinically typically uh, treated quite homogeneously, although clinicians are used to uh, substratifying the disease according to historical definitions of low risk, which is actually very rare and usually indicates um, a single or very localized uh, disease, sometimes resectable and with a normal LDH. And the high-risk disease, which really encompasses all other patients, which are not further substratified in any consistent manner. The traditional international prognostic index uh, developed in the uh, 80s and 90s uh, for aggressive lymphomas is not very useful because most cases of the Burkitt's lymphoma have advanced stage, uh, stage three or four, and have abnormal LDH. Uh, so two of the traditional EP factors uh, encompass uh, the vast majority of patients. To develop a Burkitt lymphoma specific index, we have used uh, a, co a collaboration between um, 30 uh, cancer centers in the United States uh, who submitted uh, retrospective data on patients treated uh, for Burkitt's lymphoma with, uh, over the past decade. Uh, and we developed uh, this index using the um, 640, 633 cases uh, of patients who received active therapy. We established that the four most prognostic uh, factors uh, in Burkitt's lymphoma for Regression-free survival, where age equal to 40 or over, LDH higher than three times upper uh, the normal limits. So uh, unlike in the IPI where there was a um, normal upper limit of normal, here it's uh, three times upper limit of normal, um, as well as uh, poor performance status, ego two, three, or four, uh, and involvement of the CNS, which was observed uh, in 19% uh, of patients uh, in this cohort. Uh, the, um, these four factors can stratify Burkitt's lymphoma into a low risk group uh, when there is no risk factor present, intermediate group with one risk factor, and high risk group um, uh, when at least two of these factors are present. Uh, the uh, low risk group is larger than the traditionally defined uh, low risk group. Uh, it encompasses uh, approximately 18% of patients, and uh, some of them have increased LDH and some of them ad have advanced disease and yet their um, prognosis is excellent, uh, just like for the patients who have uh, more localized disease. So the progression-free survival at three years for patients uh, who have uh, low-risk Burkitt lymphoma exceeds 90%, while the high-risk group, which uh, encompasses uh, half of patients, uh, has a progression-free survival of uh, somewhere between 50 and 60%. In our um, cohort, it was 53%. But we also validated this, these findings in an external cohort of patients. Uh, uh, it was about 457 patients treated in Europe, Canada, and Australia. Um, and um, in, the, in this cohort, the um, calibration of this index uh, showed that uh, the outcomes were somewhat higher in each category. Uh, so even the, the poorest category had um, provision free survival at three years of about uh, slightly over 60%. Still, this, this index allows us to stratify patients into this um, larger lower risk group for whom uh, we know that the prognosis will be excellent and potential future research uh, could target this group for a somewhat de-escalated therapy, just like recently has been shown um, with the dose-adjusted EPOC regimen, uh, where patients with truly very localized disease received only three cycles of chemotherapy without an intratical prophylaxis and had excellent uh, outcomes. On the other hand, the high risk group, which is still about half of patients with Burkitt's lymphoma, clearly has inadequate outcomes with current treatment, and they can also be targeted in future trials uh, for augmented or, or novel approaches using uh, some of the targeted agents uh, that we have. Um, altogether, um, this index uh, is derived from retrospective data, so it currently uh, should not be used for any treatment modification, but can be used to compare uh, risk distribution across different trials. Uh, Burke's lymphoma trials are often single arm and are difficult to compare um, uh, otherwise and can also be used for design of uh, future clinical trials uh, defining these groups. It is uh, quite interesting that both the clinical characteristics um, and outcomes and the risk distribution of patients with Burkitt lymphoma uh, was, all, was very, very similar between the uh, North American cohort and the European, Canadian, Australian cohort, uh, with some differences in the CNS involvement and performance status. And uh, we hope that this uh, Burkitt lymphoma international prognostic index 
uh, will be used by clinicians and researchers uh, to help design uh, better treatments for the disease. Thank <music> you.